Green leaf. Quarter past two. You've been out about three hours. Your leg's sleeping. You laid on the damn thing. And I would have moved you, but I didn't want to wake you. Got tired of waiting. Almost pinned a note on you. Decided not to. You scared too easy. I wouldn't go too far if I were you. I hooked you to those two men in more ways than you know. You're insane. I'm going to the police. Whose screwdriver you think is in that fella's head? If you leave him here and I disappear, you're gonna find yourself standing with your head in the noose and your feet in Crisco. What do you want from me? Why, I told you that already, Mr. Rainey. I want you to fix my story, the one you stole. Why ain't you ready to admit it yet? I did not steal your story. Oh, no, I expect you'll let yourself Go to Greenhaven for murder before you'll admit it. I have the magazine, you lunatic. I have the magazine! I have the goddamn magazine! You have this so-called magazine right now? On me? No. I was going to go pick it up at 3 o'clock. There can't be any magazine. Not with that story in it. That story is mine. What do you want? If you want to kill me, why don't you just do it? Just kill me. No, sir. These others here were going to get in the way of our business. I couldn't have that. You bring me that story, if it exists. Your house in two hours. You got some heavy lifting here first. I'd get to it if I were you. By the way, if you talk to that sheriff of yours again, or if you don't show up at 4 o'clock, I will burn your life and every person in it like a cane field in a high wind. And when I show you the magazine that has my name on the contents page with my story inside, then what? Then I turn myself in. But I take care of myself before a trial, Mr. Rainey, because if things turn out that way, then I suppose I am crazy. And that kind of crazy man has no reason or excuse to live. Listen, you got my hat. I want it, one way or the other. <laughs> 